Hi everyone, it's Elise from Painted Brush & Co. Today I thought I would do a tutorial showing uh, Pure Eco's Stain and Glaze on um, some raw timber. So this is their newest colour, it's called Sable. It's a very dark chocolatey brown, so I think it's going to be perfect for this piece, which I'm so excited to reveal. Um, it's super easy to apply. Grab yourself a bowl to decant it. You don't want to accidentally contaminate your uh, jar of stain. So I always uh, decant. You can use a brush or a cloth. This timber, it's been sanded. It's still a little bit rough. I'm going to start with a brush and then I'm going to switch to a cloth if I need to. Um, this is quite a large brush. I prefer a large brush for stains. Just that way I'm not going back over the same section and doing multiple coats. Um, so I've got a 75 mil. This is an oval brush. Um, out of the range of long handle oval brushes that you'll find on our website. This is the 75. Um, I've also got a chucks cloth if I need it as well, but we're going to start with a brush, see how we go. Now, these stains are water-based. They are eco-friendly. They are no VOC. They are Australian made and owned. Because they are water-based, it means that I can thin it with some water if I need to. So I'm going to start by just putting a little tiny dab on one of the edges just to see how dark it is on this timber. If it's too dark, I'm gonna thin it a little bit and then um, see how we go. You can adjust it um, however you like. To get more opacity and to get it darker, just keep doing more coats. Of course, if you want it uh, lighter, then thin it down with some water. Um, and then if you aren't happy with the color, you can go over it with any of the other stain and glazes in the range. There are now uh, six colors from memory. So um, each color, you can go over them. You can mix them as well, just like you would mix paint. You can mix the colors to create your own custom stain as well. So let's get started. Okay, so for me straight away, I can see that's too dark. I've got just some plain tap water here and I'm just going to mix a little bit in. I'm just going to use a fork to mix it. The easiest way to apply a stain is uh, stick with the grain of the wood. So my grain's going that way, so I'm going to go that way. I'm going to load up my brush just like you would if you're painting. And one nice long even stroke. Now I've got these edges as well, so I'm going to make sure that I get those. Now because this stain is water-based, you're not going to have the issues that you often have with a um, oil-based stain. So you can layer it a little bit and you're not going to have those issues. Best thing is, this does not have any fumes at all. It doesn't even smell like paint, to be honest. It's got no smell at all. Um, I've got, I'm carrying my baby girl here. I've got her in a carrier. And I've got no hesitations at all about her being around this product. If I was using an oil-based stain, she wouldn't even be in the same room, let alone the uh, building. I wouldn't allow her anywhere near those fumes. Now, some woods will soak up more of your stain than what others will. Every sim single timber is different. This is a very old piece. It's an old meat safe. It is old. So it's, of course, going to soak up a lot more of my stain than a newer, uh, than a newer piece will. I've cleaned my brush. So nice wet brush, long even strokes again from the end. What the water's going to do is going to rehydrate and reactivate that stain. And it's going to give you a little bit more work time to smooth out those pieces, those bits that you just need smoothed off. So just it's just a little bit damp do this as, as straight after you've finished applying. So do this straight away. Don't let this start to really, really dry. You need to do this soon. 
because once it starts to really dry, it starts to cure. Once it's cured, this isn't going to work. So you need to do this within 10 to 15 minutes of applying your stain. If your stain is feeling a little bit furry after you've done it, don't panic. That is completely normal for the fibers in the timber to stand up a little bit, completely normal. Grab thousand grit sandpaper, give it a quick sand. That's all you need to do. Of course, stick with the direction of the grain, that way you won't mark it. And that's all you need to do to smooth it back down. Once you're done, if you don't like how matte it is, this is a very matte finish. If you don't like how matte it is, grab yourself some beeswax polish, liquid wax or hemp finishing oil. Take that, pop a little bit on, grab your sandpaper, your thousand grit sandpaper, and sand the wax into your surface. It's gonna give you a beautiful shine. It's gonna give you a baby bum smooth finish. And it's going to look amazing. It's gonna push that wax into that timber, or all that oil into the timber, and it's going to give you such a nice finish. So Pure Eco Stain and Glaze in the colour Sable, you can find it on our website. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun. Happy painting. Bye everyone.